I, I cannot tell you how many people that I think could have avoided that fate had their physician just even been a little bit clued in. You know, the problem is many of these gastroenterologists will tell you, oh, well, Crohn's and inflammatory bowel disease has nothing to do with diet, which is the most preposterous take I've ever seen. I mean, if you're literally the digestive system, which is designed to digest food, and you say the food has no bearing on its health, absolutely insane. I mean, and you know, we can expand that over to all kinds of autoimmune diseases, uh, psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, you know, um, on and on, multiple sclerosis. I mean, these are some of the conditions we treat at Rivera, and we see wonderful success. In fact, we, we're, we've got our white paper, we, we, you know, we analyze our first thousand or so patients, reliably seeing people's autoimmune disease dramatically improve, reliably seeing people come off medications. We're seeing their A1C drop, their weight drop, their average glucose drop, their inflammatory markers drop, their blood pressure drop, their, um, you know, their uh, SF36 scores go up tremendously. These are, you know, standardized forms for overall uh, function and things like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, 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 you know, mental health is another one, mm -hmm. which is, which, you know, five years ago, if you would have said mental health, you could treat with, uh, you know, ketogenic diet or carnivore diet, you'd be laughed out of the room. And, and, and you, and a lot of people would be very offended by that, by that assumption. Uh, you know, you don't know my trauma, you know, it's, uh, you know, I need years and years of therapy and SSRIs and, and, and when the reality is for some of those, not all, but some of those people fixing their diet fixes their brain.